Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. For today's video, we're going to be covering a topic around putting your needs and your priorities first and why that is essential to getting what you want in life, in success, relationships, business, or otherwise. So if you are new here, the Main Corps is a community built for men that are digging to their core to find out who it is that they really are, what it is that they really want, and who it is that they really want to become. Please join the community by subscribing today. Click the bell to be notified for future videos and help us to build better men for the future. So again, as I mentioned at the top of the video, today's topic is going to be around making your needs a priority in getting what you want and getting where you want to go in life. Now, I for one have always been uh, you know, guilty of being the nice guy and I've struggled to really make my needs a priority for myself. And as a result or as a consequence of doing that, I've suffered a lot of failures, a lot of rejections, and a lot of uh, misfortune and you know, just a lot of unhappiness around the fact that I've not prioritized myself over the needs of others. Um, you know, a lot of times what has occurred is, you know, whether it be through social conditioning or you know, just some different things that uh, I experienced um, as I was growing up. It's, uh, I think it's just common for guys to think that, you know, if I conceal my insecurities or if I conceal, you know, my intentions by making it look a certain way, by making it look good, and if I present myself in a way that I, I know to be acceptable to other people or I'm doing it to, uh, to gain with the intention to either gain another's approval or to do it for needs outside of myself, I've, I've done that, you know, by prioritizing external things or others' needs over my own. So I either moved in a direction, I did a certain thing, or I said something. Uh, I was motivated with the intention to gain the approval of somebody other than myself. And I think it's very common for, for a lot of guys to, to do that. You know, if you look at a lot of the, the, the TV and the, and the media and um, a lot of the things that we're consumed with, especially when we're growing up, it was all about, you know, making things look a certain way, making them appear to be a certain way and uh, make everything look good, keep up with the Joneses a bit, um, you know, never reveal, you know, your true intentions um, and, you know, not really stating or communicating or prioritizing what it is that you want as a man. Now, you know, the, the thing is, is that when you, when we do that, most guys, when they, they kind of start to do that, they, they're not prepared for the amount of fallout that happens. And that's actually a good thing. So whenever you prioritize and put your needs first. And as I've said before in past videos, when the king eats first, if you, you know, if you treat yourself like the king and, and if you're prioritizing your needs, what makes you happy going after the things that you want, that you desire, um, and stating with the intention, making that clear without any kind of fear of the consequences or fallout that occurs, uh, you know, like I said, most guys are not ready for that fallout, but it's actually a good thing. And the reason I say that is because what you're doing is you're eliminating all the people that are either going to be, you know, consuming your time or, you know, not treating you the way that, that, that you'd like them to, or they have designs to have their priorities be, uh, have, have what they want and need be prioritized over what you want or what you need. And by eliminating all those people, when you state what you want and you go after what you want and you put yourself first, you make yourself happy first, uh, you get rid of all the people who are getting, who would, or the circumstances that would potentially get in the way of actually getting to what you want. So they're all distractions, they're all roadblocks, and you're not doing it for anything other than to, to just appease or appeal or acquiesce to other people. And it doesn't matter how long or how good you are at doing that. What you'll always be left with is the fact that you didn't please yourself first and that you didn't, uh, that, that you did it for an external validation that you, that you did it for something 
that was not internal and w was not intentioned for you. Uh, you'll always be left feeling, uh, having, having that feeling of, of, you know, falling short of your goal or, you know, coming up short of, of feeling fulfilled or going after or getting what you want. You'll never be satisfied when you're prioritizing the needs and, and the wants of other people. I've been guilty of it. Um, you know, there's, if I think of an example, so, you know, when I said at the top of the video, like experiencing what we did growing up. So like in, in the school that I went to, it was a great school, but you know, all my teachers, the first male teacher, the first, the first teacher that I had that was a man was not until I believe, I think seventh or eighth grade. So by that time, you know, I'm 14 or 15. I've already, you know, I'm going through, I'm probably well past puberty at that point, or I've already gone through it. So, you know, I've had how many years of, you know, making sure that my behavior is consistent and is acquiescing to what makes the classroom okay without any kind of disruptions uh, with the woman that's leading the class. So I've not, not known anything other than to behave in a way that conceals what it is to me to be a man so that, you know, I kept the peace or that I made, uh, you know, I made a woman happy or I made the, the leader of the classroom in this case, which is a woman uh, happy. That didn't make me happy. Um, of course I was a kid, so, you know, I, it, it's not, I don't know that now, but it makes sense. You know, I'm sure a lot of guys have that. Um, I, I don't know that there's a lot of male teachers that are, that are, that are in, that are in grade schools. I think it's pretty common. I, I bet the numbers are probably even dwindling. Um, another reason is, you know, the TV shows and the movies that we watch are all, you know, teaching guys to kind of be wilted down versions of themselves. And they've, you know, conditioned men to, to kind of be the silly, stupid, dopey uh, guy while the, the woman runs the household. Well, you know, you may see that in everyday life, but um, that's a guy that, that doesn't put his needs and his priorities over himself. Sure, it's fiction, but... And it's what, it's what makes us laugh. But on a subconscious level, it teaches guys that, that, that's, that that's what's normal and, and that that's the way that they should act. Um, you know, in, in real life, the, the women of those relationships, they're not happy. They're, they're taking on the, the man's role. And the king must always eat first. We have to prioritize what it is that we want. We have to make sure that, you know, people understand what it is that we expect of them. We have to hold them accountable to the expectations that we have for, for them about treating us. Um, you know, if, if we're interacting and, and uh, commiserating with people who don't treat us the way that we want to be treated and we don't say anything about it, we just kind of let them get away with that without consequence. Um, that is, a, that is a, a very negative place that will take you to a very negative place. So as long as you communicate what it is that you want and you actually state with intention uh, what it is that you want, you have to be willing to deal with the, with the fallout or the drawback of it uh, because what, what you actually want and what, you will, what you're prioritizing for yourself, you're actually moving yourself closer to it and you're, again, getting a, uh, rid of all the distractions, the temptations. So, you know, if you, if you look at, you know, relationship dynamics, you know, it's interesting when a guy really gets focused on what makes him happy and he, he does the things that makes him happy and he continues to do those things. Uh, he prioritizes his own needs. He goes after what he wants. He makes sure that every, everything is, you know, that he's eaten first, that, um, you know, his needs and, and, and everything that, that makes him happy are coming first. When he does those things, what happens is he tends to attract not only opportunities in business and, and other relationships, but he tends to uh, draw in a lot more attention from women. Um, and that's because he's, he's prioritizing and, you know, he's placing a lot of value on himself. He obviously sees himself as a high value person. And that is an energy and a vibe that women always just pick up on, um, you know, the, the interesting thing is, is that, you know, once they get into a relationship, then they stop doing that. 
um, all the things that, that they did to become successful, to become happy, become fulfilled, um, to, you know, get the, the amount of, or the, you know, the attractive women in his life, all those things that he did, if he stops doing those things, um, you know, in, in a woman's eyes that she actually, she actually loses respect for you. So it's hard for us because, you know, when we do those things and, and w when we go after what we want and we, we make our needs, uh, known and, you know, we go after them and we state what it is that we expect of people and we demand, we command respect for ourselves because we respect uh, who we are. When we do those things and we start to, you know, acquire or attract or, or bring in the kinds of opportunities and relationships that, uh, that are consistent with that because people see us how, how we view ourselves. Um, if, if we don't believe it, then how do we expect anybody else to? So when a man prioritizes what he wants, when he needs, uh, and when he puts himself first as a high value man, uh, he needs to continue to do those things because this is where, in my opinion, where a lot of guys get in trouble is that, you know, women are always going to try and test and try to take away your power. They're always going to try to, you know, get one over on you. And it's not something that they do intentionally. It's just something that they do on a very, very deep subconscious level. Um, it's not a, a malicious intent, um, but it, it, it is, it is what's always happening. So, you know, I've been kind of watching and listening to a lot of content that Patrice O'Neill shared, um, and you can find a lot of his videos and his content about um, his view on the male and female dynamic and, and just kind of where women are coming from and, and uh, you know, the operate, operations of, of what a man should be. Uh, I actually really have to agree with a lot of the things that he says because, um, you know, a man going after and prioritizing himself and going and, and getting what he wants actually brings up the status and, and elevates and um, really propels any woman, regardless of what status that she is. So the more that he invests in himself and the more valuable that he is, not only in his own eyes, but the more valuable he is to the people around, he, around him, the community, he, he always elevates and always brings a woman up. And when it, when a woman is with a guy that, that is, is bringing her down, she's never going to be happy. They always date at their level or above. They always date or marry or screw around with men who are at their level or above. And whether they want to admit it or not, anytime that they feel like they've gained an advantage or a over or power over you, they just become miserable. And that may not be what they say, but you can, you can basically just see just the dynamic between the both of them. So if, if we go after what we want and we prioritize them, and that's something that we always do, then we're always going to be in a place of we're, we're going to be in a happier place and we're going to, we're going to go after and get what we want. Um, and, and we're doing those things because they're important to us. We're prioritizing our own needs. And if we do that for a certain amount of time, and then because, you know, somebody, a woman protests and is essentially trying to kind of remove that power, uh, then that's going to be seen and going to be viewed by her as, as, a, uh, as an in, inauthentically representation of, of who you are, that you were doing all those things because you were trying to, you know, get her or get status or get all these opportunities that you now have. They weren't really true to your core. They weren't, they weren't really authentic to who you really are as a, as a person and as a man, you just did them for a temporary or a short term fix. And we talk a lot about the long term investment, how it's, you know, a little bit each day and a little bit better than you were yesterday and how that stacks in your favor in the long term. We can't just do them, you know, from Monday tomorrow to, you know, a, a year from now and expect that, okay, by that point, I'll have what I want. We're always going to be trying to stretch and achieve and go after what we want and prioritize what we want. We need to be. 
and we'll always be tested, whether that's you know in business, whether that's by our families, by our friends, um, by our peers at work, whether that's you know our significant others or or woman that we're we're dating or seeing or married to, they're always going to try and, and and tear you down and 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 you know gain an advantage on the power that they see you having, and by by stating what you want and making it clear, making it known that you know you won't tolerate and you won't deal with people who are going to you know try and um make their needs a your priority over especially over yourself when you continuously you know acquiesce to them it's just a it's just a really bad way to go and i know a lot of guys that are watching this i've always been trying to kind of look for answers and uh, find out what it is and, and why they're going wrong. And, and a lot of it has to do with just a lot of the social conditioning and a lot of the, the nice guy syndrome. You know, oh, if, I, if, if, if I'm nice enough or if I'm, you know, if I'm good enough, uh, then I'll get my needs met and I'll be accepted and I'll be loved. And, and the fact is, uh, that's not true. You have, to, you have to really find out what it is that's important to you. And, you know, it... it go to an internal place to figure out w what things and circumstances and people that you want in your life and what people circumstances that you that you don't want in your life and prioritize those things and and make them paramount make sure that, that you know nobody ever sways you from uh, what those things are and let it be known that you know you're not going to tolerate people who are going to do that and if they so happen to you know walk out of your life or uh you know there's some distance between you you have to be okay with that uh and actually accept it as a as a sign of um a higher power that's really distancing you i mean they're basically getting you in the way of the people and the circumstances and the success and the fulfillment that that you know what you're ultimately looking for so why waste your time spending it with people who are just going to be it you know in the way or um, you know, remove you from that, get you further away from that. It's not conducive to your time. Uh, I would always, you know, recommend writing out, you know, what it is that you really want, not only in your career, uh, what you want in your health, what you want uh, financially, you know, make them goals for yourself and, and, and don't just do them on a surface level, you know, spend some time really figuring out what it is at your core, what moves you, what motivates you, what, what inspires you. And then, you know, find out some, some areas that you want to improve on or, uh, you know, the things that are most important to you and hold them dear. And if, if you know, those are goals that, that you always have, they may change. Your goals and values may, may evolve. But it's important that you, never, that you never deviate from them and you never let people try and, you know, uh, take them away from you or, or try to gain an advantage over over you because it's going to happen it's just it's just part of life uh you know i talk a lot about you know the no fap and semen retention in this video or in this channel and um i'm now i'm now celebrating what five months of it so uh it's it's an incredible it's an incredible feat like i'm very proud to be able to stand here and share this and and let you guys know that five months of no fap and semen retention is is a huge thing. I'm, I'm extremely proud of it. I've learned a lot and I'm a different man than I was when I started five months ago. Uh, I'm going to continue on. Um, but I say all that because it's important that you know that I'm still getting tested. I'm still being tempted. Um, and I'm still always wrestling with some circumstance or temptation or, you know, uh, person or uh, urge that's out there that's always trying to you know, pull me down or pull that power away from me, um, pull that energy that I have away from me, you know, try to take it out of me, try to dismantle it from you. Um, it's, it's just part of the way things are. Um, nobody ever reveres the guy that's on top. I mean, you know, there's a lot of athletes that you could point to that when they were on top, it's just like they were the most hated person for whatever, just because they were on top. It's just, we're always trying to like dismantle people and, and trying to take away their power. What's important is that you, as a man, is that you ignore all that bullshit and that you still continue to stay congruent with what you want and the goals and the, and the mission that you have, because that should be paramount in a man's life, 
without any kind of fear of the fallout that's gonna you know happen with uh, peers, friendships, businesses, partnerships, relationships, otherwise. It's just part of it, and uh, it's gonna move you closer to what you want. So uh, please do share your feedback. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Um, you know, I'm always grateful to hear what you guys have to say and offer any kind of advice or, or do a video on uh, what you guys are interested in, in me chatting further about here on the main core. Uh, please like the video, share the video, and do share the channel with anybody that you think would be a good contributor or would value greatly from this content. We want to build community here for better men, so I appreciate your help in that endeavor. I have to run, fellas, but uh, again, go after what you want, prioritize what you want, and don't let anybody ever take your power away from you. Cheers.